The daughter of Seattle civil rights icon, Reverend Samuel McKinney, reflects on his legacy and the indelible mark he left on the Emerald City. That's the man I love. That's the man I worship. This one day after McKinney died at an assisted living facility a few blocks from the Baptist church he led for decades. Samuel McKinney worked tirelessly for social justice after arriving in Seattle 60 years ago. That work began and ended in the pulpit of Mount Zion Baptist Church in Seattle's central area. Cairo 7's Deborah Horn is live in Seattle, and Deborah, Reverend McKinney's influence can still be felt there. Incredibly, yes, David. You know, after all, Reverend McKinney retired from active work here 20 years ago in 1998. But you can see he still held a special place here. This man who helped build this into one of the largest black churches in Seattle. I could tell him anything. And we could laugh and joke and tease. For most of us, Reverend Samuel Barry McKinney was the man who brought his lifelong friend, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., to Seattle. The local civil rights activist who pushed for social justice on the streets of the Emerald City and from the pulpit at Mount Zion Baptist Church. But for Rhoda McKinney Jones, he was just her dad. And he could tell me, give me that famous Rhoda smile. And I tried to do that through this process. She was his primary caregiver at the Aegis Assisted Living Facility. That's where we met, surrounded by pictures of his remarkable life. She says his impact was reflected even in his final hours here. Caregivers from all over this building walked into my father's room just to put a hand on him and whisper to them how he had impacted their lives. That said to me, yes, he, he sat with kings and queens and, and all of that, but it's wide, it's vast, and that touched my heart in so many ways. She says her faith tells her that her parents, partners in life for 59 years, are now reunited in their physical deaths. I am so blessed to be able to say that I am the baby girl of Sam and Louise McKinney. It doesn't get any better than that. Besides Rhoda, Reverend McKinney leaves behind another daughter, Laura Ellen McKinney. Now, Rhoda says they are hearing from people across the world who want to attend his memorial services, and they want to accommodate them. So she says they won't hold his service for at least three weeks. We'll let you know the date they choose. Reporting live in Seattle's central area, Deborah Horn, Cairo 7 News.